Hi, and welcome to the Easy Way channel. In today's video, I will show you what to do if your Valorant won't launch. Okay, first thing you will do is run Valorant in compatibility mode. To do that, right-click on your Valorant shortcut on desktop and select Properties. If you don't have shortcut, then open File Explorer and go to C Drive, open Riot Games folder, and then Riot Client folder. Here you will see Riot Client Services file. Right-click on it and select Properties. Select Compatibility tab, and here, check this box where it says, Run this program in compatibility mode for. Click here, and on drop-down menu, select Windows 8. To save this settings, press Apply and then OK. Try to run your Valorant now, to see did this fixed your problem. If not, try next method, and that is to run Valorant as administrator. Right-click on your Valorant executable again and select Properties. Select Compatibility tab, and now check the box next to Run this program as administrator, and also check box next to Disable full screen optimizations. Click on Apply and OK, and run Valorant now. Next method is to set VGC service to automatic. Right-click on Start, and select Run. Here type, Services.msc and hit Enter. This window will open. Click on any of this services here, and then press V on your keyboard. Find VGC service, and then double-click on it. If the service is running, click here to stop it, now under Startup type, select Automatic, and then click on Start to run the service. To save changes, click on Apply and then OK. Restart your computer and check Will Valorant launch now. Next is to close all Riot-related processes. If you started the game, but nothing happens, you need to close all running processes. Right-click on your taskbar and select Task Manager. Here, find any process that you see with Valorant or Riot logo. I don't have any running process, but if you find any, right-click on it and select End Task. Only process you should not close is Vanguard process. If you accidentally close it, maybe you will need to restart your PC in order to run it again. When you closed all required processes, run the Vanguard, and see if this fixed your issue. Next is to update graphic card driver. Right-click on Start, and click on Device Manager up here. Expand Display Adapters, and right-click on your Display Adapter, and select Update Driver. Select Search Automatically for Drivers. If there are no updates here, Go on the Your Graphic Driver Manufacturer website and search driver for your graphic card. I use NVIDIA GeForce Experience, so I will open it and check for updates. If you use AMD or Intel Graphic, you can also check in their applications for updates. If you had an update for graphic driver, install it. After that, restart your computer and then launch Valorant. Next method is to make sure your windows are up to date. Left click on Start, and select Settings. Here, select Update and Security. Now click here, to check does your windows have any updates available, and if there are any, make sure to install them, restart your computer and then launch Vanguard. Next thing you will do, is perform a clean boot. Right-click on Start, and select Run. Type msconfig in search box, and hit Enter. This window will open, and make sure you are on Services tab. Check this box where it says, 
Hide all Microsoft services. Click here on Disable All. Click Apply and OK. And it will ask you to restart your Windows. Restart it, and launch the game. If you could launch Valorant normally, it means that some of the programs listed here is interfering with the game, and prevent it to launch normally. I have read that a lot of people have issues with Razer application, so keep that in mind. Try to uninstall it, if this clean boot don't work for you. So, if the game launch, you will come here again, and enable one by one app from the list, restart Windows after that, and launch Valorant, until you find out what app is causing launch failure. Then you can decide do you want uninstall it, or just disable it to launch with your Windows, so you can start your Valorant with no problems. If none of this method worked, then you need to consider to reinstall your Valorant, and maybe a fresh install will fix all your problems. With this, we came to the end of this video. If any of the methods helped you to fix your problem, then you might consider to help me with liking this video, and to subscribe to my channel with the bell on, so you can get notification when I upload my next, easy way tutorial. Bye.